Maybe you remember the scary rumors that zipped around the Internet a few years ago that antiperspirants and deodorants could cause breast cancer. Well, we've got an important uh, series of stories and information to share with you on that subject. And let me give you the bottom line right now. Antiperspirants and cosmetics, based on all the information that I've got at hand, do not cause breast cancer. So what's all this fuss about? Well, it's about uh, agents or a substance called parabens. Parabens are a preservative put into cosmetics and deodorants, frankly, to keep bacteria from overgrowing in deodorants and in uh, cosmetics. At my website, drjharness.com, uh, we've got a wonderful overview in the conversations a part of, of, of my website. That's the blog, if you will, of my website, uh, dealing with this very subject. And at that uh, site, uh, we are linking and summarizing for you three stories or three pieces of information. One is a story from Time Magazine. Uh, another is a study from the Journal of Applied Toxicology uh, that I've got right here in my hand that came out in November of uh, 2011, talking about the measurement of paraben concentrations in human breast tissue. Uh, and also, we've got statements uh, for you uh, at my website from the uh, FDA and the American Cancer Society. Well, it ends up that parabens are pretty universal and that parabens can actually be found in the breast tissue of patients with breast cancer that don't even use deodorants or antiperspirants or cosmetics um, at all, yet the parabens are in the, the uh, breast tissue. So the bottom line is the parabens are pretty universal. And the bottom line is, again, that there's no link as far as causing breast cancer. Uh, let me quote to you from uh, the FDA. A uh, quote, the FDA concludes that at the present time, there is no reason for consumers to be concerned about the use of cosmetics containing parabens. And the American Cancer Society, we've got a quote from them as well, uh, that there's no strong epidemiological studies in the medical literature that link breast cancer risk and antiperspirant use, and very little scientific evidence to support this claim. So all that stuff that was zipping around uh, the uh, internet a few years ago, sorry, no link to show you that there is a problem. However, for those who are still concerned about parabens in antiperspirants and deodorants, we also have uh, at drjharness.com the name of companies that produce these products without parabens. And this is Burt's Bees and Willendia. So check out drjharness.com, the conversations part. We'll provide you with a link straight to that overview here at Breast Cancer Answers. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.